When they presented Jesus 41 days after his birth at the temple in Jerusalem, we have this very strange interlude where Simeon, the aged Simeon, uh, is there at the time along with Anna the prophetess, and now they find their messianic dreams fulfilled in this baby. Simeon is a fellow who, if you open the Bible, is, pops up and stands between the Old and the New Testament. He's totally rooted in Isaiah's prophecies, and now he sees them fulfilled in this baby. Uh, what a wonderful feeling that he must have had. Now, Lord, you can let your servant depart in peace. According to your word, I've seen your salvation, which you have prepared for all people. Isaiah is the fifth gospel writer, as far as I'm concerned. He's unbelievable, seven centuries earlier. He's making predictions that are fulfilled almost literally. He's almost there at the cross in Isaiah 53 and so forth, describing Jesus' suffering. And here too, he's predicting that he's gonna be born in Galilee in the circle of the Gentiles. And as uh, indeed, Simeon knew that. وكان رجل في اورشليم اسمه سمعان وهذا الرجل كان بارا تقيا ينتظر تعزيه اسرائيل اخذه على ذراعيه وبارك الله وقال الان تطلق عبدك يا سيد حسب قولك بالسلام لان عيني قد ابصرت خلاصك الذي عدته قدام وجه جميع الشعوب نور اعلان للامم ومجدا لشعبك اسرائيل When Jesus was born, and from the moment that his parents suspected that his destiny was to be the true king of Israel, not this king of the Jews thing with Herod the Great and his descendants, but that this responsibility would fall to this young child, I have no doubt this was a fearful fearful thing, that they would have recognized the dangers, uh, even the, the fleeing and temporary relocation to Egypt would be an indication of that. But I think there'd be the hope too that, you know, Jesus, the son of theirs would be recognized, he would be coronated, he would be the king, uh, that Israel would be then revived. I mean, you, you hear that in the Magnificat. Mary's great song uh, recorded in Luke, where she says, my soul magnifies the Lord. And she alludes to prophets, prophecies and promises to the patriarchs. There's not a hint in her great song that she anticipates that her son will suffer. But a, a very spiritual man speaks prophetically to her, a man named Simeon. And he sees in this child, redemption for Israel, a blessing for Israel, but a pain that will pierce Mary's heart. So there's at least a hint early on that there could be some serious grief.